What's so full? I don't know how hard a gallon a day is, but we've been doing it. And we got that. You guys know what time it is. Time to review some of the locals' cars. I can get kind of picky, and then sometimes I just don't care. And this is gonna be one where I actually know the people, so I'm gonna make sure I don't hurt no feelings. And a lot of the people who actually enter their cars are just straight fire. A portion of them at the end are my favorite, so stay tuned for the end. This is Rating Locals Cars. Look, look, I'm about making money. Laughing, joking when there's nothing funny. You wasn't dick and getting nothing funny. Half these cars I've seen in person, and the other half I've never seen before. So I honestly don't even know if some of these people are local or not. And of course, before we hop into it, guys, make sure you're following my Instagram at TLS Lifestyle One. If you're not following that, you're not allowed to follow me on here, and you can click off this video right now. All right, thank you for following that. Starting off with our first one, we got this WRX hatchback. Now this guy is part of the Royal Villains out in Vancouver. I've never seen his car. I might have seen his car actually before. I don't remember his car. Um, the headlights are my favorite part on this car. I know I can get strict on ratings and there's so many different ways to rate a car and so many different types of builds. This is like an example of a street build Then we could do uh, like a track build and then there's like show car build. They're all totally different. I'm just gonna give them a personal rating and then um, you guys can take it from there in the comments. I don't know. I'm gonna make a fast decision though because this is my first time actually looking at these cars and making the decision. Back to the car. Let's give one thing I like and one thing I don't like about every car. So one thing I do not like about this car, how the exhaust sticks out in the back. I like it to be kind of flush with the bumper or stick out a little bit, but not that far. One thing I do like though is the fitment is on point. We're gonna give that car a six and a half. I know it seems harsh, but six and a half. Next up, we got this guy who sent me three photos of all his three cars. Unfortunately, the TSX is sold. You had a TSX, you have the Nissan uh, Hardbody, and then you got the Chevy, I think it's the Silverado. Anyways, nice cars. My favorite one is the Nissan, and I'm gonna give it a six. If you're local, you should sell it to me. Cisco would be jealous. Hopefully all my Acura TL fans did not leave when they saw the WRX first. We got an Acura. Silver TL, first of all, I love the headlights. The block um, halos. I can't see them on, but I can just kind of tell what they are. Please correct me if I'm wrong. This is like perfect ride height for static. Now, a lot of you guys, but you gotta go way lower to be static. Maybe a little bit lower, but this is pretty good for his tire size, everything like that. I think it looks pretty good. One thing I do not like about this car is the red tail lights. I just delete the red tail lights and the side marker, and I think it'll look a lot cleaner. We're gonna give this TL a seven. The base package for any TL starts at six, and we go up from there. Right, next up, we got a TSX. Again, I haven't seen any of these cars in person, and I honestly don't even know if these guys are for sure local, so um, you guys really snuck one on me on if, you, if you're not. I mean, it's a clean car. Oh, his exhaust is fat. It's burning through his lip. Just the rear look of this car though looks good, so. I'm gonna give this car a five. This guy sent me a ton of photos. He's got halos, he's got wheels, and he's got a spec He's got the whole package. I like this car a lot. His fitment looks great. Probably go a little bit lower in the front. <laughs> Who am I to judge that? So I'm gonna give this car a seven. Yeah, seven and a half. Next up, we got another TL. I think this is almost the last TL. This is a basic TL, really clean. This is the perfect daily setup. I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half. I don't care what you guys say. I know it doesn't have a lot of mods, but it's a clean TL. Okay, we have a lot more TLs than I thought. So this one, a track built TL. The wrap is dope on it. I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half. I've seen a lot more photos of it. Make sure you guys follow this on Instagram. It's cool. I would say I don't like the lettering on the tires, but it's a trap build, so you can do that with trap. Next up, I think we got, this might be my favorite TL out of all of these. Anyways, these are the wheels I wanted right when I got my TL, and I ended up not getting them because everybody already has them. Everybody gets them here in the Northwest, but they still look really good. Um, his ride height's like perfect, and everything looks good on the car. I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half. This is the last TL. Right off the bat, when I saw this photo, the only thing I don't like about this TL is the exhaust sticking out so far. I'll give this one, I'm not a huge fan of the wheels either on this car, so I'm gonna give this one a six and a half. Moving on to cars I've actually seen in person, at meets, on the road, that kind of thing, and I've actually met most of these drivers. So starting off with this very fire 350Z, 
uh, my boy Eddie. I've had the chance to shoot this car before. <laughs> Back when it was black, and then he wrapped it and added a ton of carbon and put some nice wheels on it and did a lot of headlight work and it, it looks it looks good. Look how aggressive that rear stance is. I think this is my favorite photo out of all of these cars. This is the best photo. Whoever shot this photo deserves an award. Uh, I'm gonna give this car a nine and a half. I'm gonna give this car a straight up ten. I like this car a lot. All right, next up we got Zeus's GTI. Uh, I've seen this car a couple times in person. Every single time he pulls up to the meets, he's scraping. When I hear the word static, I think of this car. I don't know why. Fib is dialed. Everything like looks really good, especially with these professional photos. I think he just got it wrapped. I haven't seen it blue in person, but it looks really good in the photos. So I'm gonna give this one an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight. The front end isn't my favorite. I think the newer GTIs have a way better front end. Looks like he has a gas tank in the back. Maybe he's so low that his gas tank started scraping and he went put a hole in it or something. I don't know. Next up, we got a Subaru wagon car. Um, I think I've seen this car in person. I could be wrong. Looks like something that'd be fun like to travel with, but um, not my style at all. Like I would never build one. All right, if there's one thing I would change about this, I would get rid of the mud flaps. I think the wheels look good on this car. It fits this car. Just because it's not my style, we're gonna give it a six and a half. Next up, we got another wagon. Here's a little video of it, actually. I like it. I don't like the exhaust sticking out so far. The shape of this car, it's not like a wagon that like, is shaped like the WRX wagon. This one like kind of keeps on going out. It makes the car look like a long boat. I think this is the only car I've ever seen built like this though, honestly. So I'm gonna give this one a seven. There's one thing I could change about how the car is sitting right now. I paint match everything, the front lip and the side skirts. The wheels fit a lot though, so. And your fitment looks good, so. We're gonna give this one a seven. Next up, we got my favorite TSX in the world. My boy Alex did a perfect job on this car. Just got it wrapped purple, like a royal purple. And check out these photos, it looks perfect. A little bit of backstory with us. I met him at Hot Imports Night. I was just doing my thing, filming and stuff. He recognized me first because of my channel. This is back when I had like 3K. And then uh, he came up to me Said he was a fan of the videos, asked for a photo, and then that's how it all started. I started like hearing about Royal Villains. This is the guy, this is the guy that runs uh, Royal Villains in Vancouver. After that, we just clicked and we need to do a shoot together. So as soon as we can put that together, we're gonna have two really clean Acura side by side. His is definitely flawless, and I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. We got one of the cleanest Jettas I've ever seen. This guy's car has been through a lot but he does all his work, like professional, professional work. And every single time I see his stories and stuff like that, I can relate to him because he does detailing, he does photos, and he works on his car. And I think he's start thinking about starting a YouTube channel. His Jetta is super clean. Um, the fitment in the rear, especially, is not my style. But I know with, with people who like this style, his is perfect. <laughs> this photo is trippy. Doesn't even look like there's a wheel there. I'm gonna give this build a nine and a half. Last car of this video, guys. This one, I put last because I actually got to ride in it. This is my boy Henry's car. I met him uh, at a meet. We kind of just, uh, I don't know. I felt like I knew him for some reason. Anyways, I kind of followed him around the meet, taking photos and stuff like that. One night at T5, I was trying to get a video of this thing sliding because it just sounded good and looked really good. I asked him, can I hop in the middle? like while he's sliding around. He thought I said can I hop in the passenger seat. So he ends up opening the door to the passenger seat. <laughs> First time sliding like that. And I think it's like in the best car to ever slide because this thing is so light. There's like nothing in the car. It's just like two seats in the back, the roll cage, and a fuel tank, and then in the front, I don't know his exact uh, motor setup, 
But anyways, because of what this car is and uh, the good memory of it, we're gonna give it a nine and a half. All right, that's gonna end it, guys. That is my review of Locals Cars. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a like. Let me know what you guys think about my ratings. If you guys wanna see another one of these, this is almost like part five, but with local cars. If you're one of the 17 people that are in this video with your car, you guys make sure you drop a like too. And everybody go follow the Instagrams of these cars, especially if you like them. Go down in the comments and let me know which car was your favorite out of these. I gotta say, the TSX is probably my favorite. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And we'll see you in the next one. Later.